So this is a um, this is a uh, diagram of a solar PV system, a commercial scale one. So okay. it's a relatively large system. It has um, it's mounted on the roof of a large commercial facility mm -hmm. in uh, Springfield, Mass. It has 518 solar modules, and that, what that those modules do are they convert the power of the sun mm -hmm. into um, uh, direct current electricity, DC electricity. Oh, okay. That's, that's not exactly what we use when we're doing things, plugging into our uh, outlets at home and at work, because that's all AC current. Okay. So the way the systems work is you have the, the modules which produce DC current, and then that power is fed into an inverter, and that inverter takes the DC power and converts it into AC power, which is the the sort of power that we then can use to power all our appliances. Mm -hmm. In a typical scenario, there'll be a grid tie inverter, which actually synchronizes this power so that it actually can get distributed through the normal home or industrial distribution center okay. um, in, uh, in, in the facility. And so this type of um, solution is actually a parallel feed to your distribution and the solar will provide power to, to, to power the needs of the building mm -hmm. and um, if uh, it doesn't uh, as it does in the evening when it turns off because there's no sun mm -hmm. um, you still have the primary feed which is from the grid oh, okay. so in the event of um, uh, uh, net metering which means that you know the solar provides some of your your power and and then the grid provides the rest mm -hmm. um, you always have access to both and use the solar to the extent that it's available um, in some instances during the summer when the solar resource is very high mm -hmm. um, you may actually have a system that's a little larger than what you actually consume during that period so a grid tie system will actually push the power out to the grid so that it can be used you know, in other facilities, maybe your neighbor's home, your your uh, your neighbor uh, in a commercial sense uh, facility. Mm -hmm. It's um, that's uh, the the that's the overview of the system. So long and short, DC modules you get inverted. They go through your power distribution, and they can get used in a variety of electrical loads, like computers, lighting, plant equipment. Now, I also see some system benefits written there. Could you please elaborate on those? Well, the system benefits uh, tell you the beauty of uh, solar is that it's a renewable energy. So, unlike um, uh, having to burn coal okay. or natural gas or um, oil to generate this power, what you're doing is you're, you're just taking the power from the sun. So, that um, reduces the carbon. Um, content of the the power down to basically zero. All right. And um, so that's the the primary benefit. You have electrical savings. You have um, environmental benefits, mm -hmm. and then you have uh, cost benefits because uh, the cost of these systems, particularly as they're configured now with subsidies, um, are uh, pay for themselves in about five years. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they, um, the system lives are 25 to 30 years. So okay, you get okay. a tremendous uh, long-term benefit by putting in solar power. Okay. Thank you, Mike.